always remember to tell your friends about Rick Rock, to share and to comment below, smash that people's bell to get all my notifications. Also, go and check out all my videos and go and view and like WWA World Wrestling Alliance on Facebook. As you can see, I'm still here in sunny Egypt, in hot Egypt, in the people's Egypt, in Rick the Rock's Egypt. And they're trying to find that jabroni who took my WWE Hardcore Cena style title. I can't find him, but I'm going to. But this is this week's. NXT and 205 Live review. So we'll start with NXT first. So on NXT, Nikki Cross, Nikki Cross, sorry, came out and talked, and then Ruby Riot came out and they brawled. It's a good way to kick off NXT. First match of the night, in a fresh match, Drew McIntyre the Andrade Sheen Almus. Your next match, in a fresh match, Alistair Black the Connor or Corner Reeves. Nikki Bella and Ruby Riot brawled again, so I presume they're going to have a match. I would presume that the next takeover, I would have thought. And your main event on NXT in a steel cage match. So for the first ever steel cage match on a proper NXT rather than a, a takeover. Tyler Nugent beat Eric Rowan, so a big win for Tyler Nugent there. Now I presume that's the last of a match on NXT, because he's now on SmackDown. On 205 Alive, Akira in, in tag team action, Rich Swan and Akira Tozawa beat the Brian Kendrick and Noam Dar. So, going for these, I'm going to do a much needed win for Rich Swan. In singles action, Tony Nese beat Mustafa Ali by DQ again. A much needed, much needed win for Tony Nese. And your main event on 205 Live, Cruiserweight champion Neville beat Gentleman Jack Gallagher. So that builds momentum for Neville heading in, or well, continues to build momentum for Neville heading into payback this Sunday. So I give both NXT and 205 Live a big five people stars out of 10. Make sure to like and subscribe for your two, that's right, two shout outs. I'm back in England on Saturday, on the People Saturday, the night before payback. But for now, like, subscribe if you smell what The Rock is cooking.